Hi there. My name is Lindsay Smale and I wanted to talk to you about a collection of paintings I've completed recently called Pond Life. And not surprisingly, <laughs> the paintings are about a beaver pond that's near my home uh, that I visit frequently in all different seasons. And I, I think it's a very beautiful and remarkable place. And it, um, I dream about it. So I, I knew it was something I had to paint. Anyway, I, um, I knew I wanted to paint it. So I started sketching, sketching on location, sketching in my studio from memory and developing a way of looking at the pond, sort of getting the place in my bones and uh, simplifying uh, what I was seeing until I realized really essentially this beaver pond was like a disc, the water, and then just scores of vertical lines coming out of this disc, which were the, the dead trees in the beaver pond. And so I, once I came to that, I started painting. And some of the uh, pieces, like uh, the one you see behind me, are uh, representational. You know, the, they're obviously trees. And um, so I tried that approach, which is very related to the sketching I did. But some of the pieces are also quite abstract uh more evoking mood and atmosphere and um yeah and then one of the pieces even is uh it's called pond's eye pond's eye not pond's eye um it's a view from above uh i looked on google earth and saw what the pond looked like from there and Combine that with what I knew from on the ground. And so uh, that's where that painting came from. And I worked with a, a color palette centered around violet, which for some reason the pond to me, I think it's in the morning light. There's a strong sense of violet uh, there and so, so it can be a tricky color to work with. So I was also into that challenge. And I, uh, so some of them are paintings are more vivid color, like this painting Lush Life behind me, which uh, is named for the Billy Strayhorn tune, if you're a jazz fan. And others are really calm and serene and have a really, a more natural, palette like a painting like sentinels that's really evoking the the calm and serenity of the pond so that's a little bit of background on the paintings and how they came about and each one really explores a different way of looking at the pond or responding to the pond so i, I hope that um adds something and thanks for watching Bye-bye.